Hi everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I hope you're having a great day at Stamp Affair. I'm going to show you how to do some stitching on your cards using stamps, specifically the stamped and stitched set that's in the Stamp Affair kit, but you might have some stitching stamps in your collection that would also work with the techniques that I'm sharing. We're going to do sort of a shadow stamping technique, which the top piece that I'm holding up there with the row of flowers is done with the technique and then below those flowers are just stamped plain. So you can see there's a beautiful dimensional look that you get with this technique. It's really easy. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to stamp the image that I want from the set. This is the little stitched leaf border. I'm stamping that in Simply Chartreuse ink. And then all there is to this technique is we're going to use a lighter color of ink specifically um, soft stone and fine linen are colors that will work really well with this technique and I'm going to use fine linen. You're going to re-stamp the image right over the top of the first one just slightly offset so like I'm kind of going just slightly to the side and down and it gives sort of a little bit of a shadow right around the image and will give it a dimensional look. I'm stamping another of the stitch lines from the set, also in Simply Chartreuse ink. And again, I'm going to ink that up with fine linen ink. And then I'm going to stamp that right over the top, just slightly offset over that line. Now, you can use special tools to line things up, but it really doesn't need that. It doesn't have to be super exact. Now I'm stamping this little flower, and one of my little tips is, because I'm going to stamp several of these flowers, and I kind of turn the stamp as I stamp them to make them look a little bit more random. Shadow stamp your flowers right after you do them, because then you won't have to remember which direction you were holding the stamp when you turned it. And instead of, if you stamp them all at once and go back, then you have to guess, and you might not guess completely right. So that's my little tip with these little these little flower designs. Now next I'm going to stamp these little leaves. I love this set. There's all sorts of fun little stitching um, pieces and accessories so you can build your own little embroidered images. Like this little wavy line can become a little vine of leaves. And then I'm shadow stamping those. Now that I did, I stamped all of the leaves first in Simply Chartreuse ink, and then I went back and shadow stamped because that's a more symmetrical stamp and it's very easy to line up. I'm stamping the little starburst for some flowers along that vine in more berry sorbet ink. And then we'll go back again, surprise, and add some fine linen ink, just offset to give it that dimensional look. The little pieces are so fun in the set. It has kind of a tea towel look. You can build your own little embroidery designs. It's so much fun. Here's another starburst from the set that I'm stamping in Summer Sunrise ink. And then adding the fine linen shadow onto each one. Don't overthink it. It's really that easy. And finally, a few little cross stitches in Summer Sunrise ink as well. Now we're ready to put this card together. I have a berry sorbet cardstock base. And you can see I have a design on the back that I didn't quite like, so I'm using the other side. So there it goes. Sneak peek of something that will never be. I suppose you can't say never. I might do it again. And then attach that right to the card base. Now I'm adding a few little strips to the bottom and the top with the berry sorbet pattern paper with the polka dot. And you can see there's a stitching element along there as well. And that is done also with a stamp. That's from the So Simple I think it's so simply borders, so simple borders, it'll be in the supply list. Um, and I will show you what I did in the next video that I have to share. There's another comparison with the flowers that do not have the shadow stamp versus the flowers or the um, the flowers in the embroidery that do. So you can see the beautiful effect that you get from doing that technique.
And now it's your turn. Go to Nicole's blog and get all the details on posting your projects. Thanks everybody so much for joining us today for Stamp Affair. I hope you have a great rest of your day.